Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to look at who invented the calculator. Well, some people might say God invented the calculator because he gave us ten fingers. But uh, apart from that very simple idea, the first practical device, uh, one still in use even today in China, is the abacus. And that was in common use in Rome in 2400 BC. It's interesting that that idea actually lasted right up to the present day, whereas other ideas invented later, like the checkerboard, uh, which was used in the Middle Ages in Britain, uh, which was a table with black and white squares, and on that table you put markers, and these markers could be used in particular ways. These were used to actually calculate uh, the cost of transactions between different uh, people who were buying and selling in the market. So that was a, a device which was designed for a particular purpose. The abacus was a fundamental device which could be used for anything. Also other devices used for specific things were things like astronomical calculators and, and eventually of course, clocks. These two are only calculators. They simply are a mechanical device for giving you a number. And that number tells you something about the quantities you're interested in. So finally, the final development, you say the final thing, was, was of course the logarithm. And the logarithm was the calculator which enabled people to use addition, a simple process, to do uh, multiplication, a complex one. Well, these are the old devices. The modern device, of course, is very simple. There were mechanical devices. Some mechanical devices involving turning wheels, etc., were used into the 20th century until they were all replaced by the simple digital electronic calculator, which now we see in almost every device in. Uh, in modern society where we need to use some kind of calculation. So now it is all digital calculation.